Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. Well, what would you say if for $100 you could buy a Swiss-made watch from a well-known, well-respected heritage luxury brand, which has sapphire crystal, it has a solid steel bracelet, has solid end links, and you get all of that with a really nice presentation box, and it is actually a really nice watch to look at. It's a really nice watch to wear, and it actually is a nice watch. And what if I further said to you that if you didn't like this particular one, you could actually find another one within their range that looks a little bit different, has a little bit of a different size that may suit you even better. Well, are you gonna call out to me saying, I don't think you can do that? Or are you gonna think that I'm perhaps pulling your leg? Do you think perhaps that I'm gonna show you some watch that really nobody even wants to own? Well, no, I'm actually going to show you a watch that has all of those features for a hundred dollars. Before I go on any further, however, if you haven't already clicked on that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it if you did so. It really makes a big difference to me and the channel, and I really do appreciate everybody who has subscribed. So $100 is not a lot of money. A lot of specs that I'm talking about you get for this watch, brand heritage, Swiss made, you get solid stainless steel and links and bracelet. So what is the catch? Well, there isn't really a catch. There is a couple of things that I should mention, however. When I say $100, I mean $100 US dollars. Normally I speak $100 Australian dollars because that's where I'm from, but I'll be honest, $100 sounds better than $150, so today I'm talking $100 US dollars. Second, this watch is a used secondhand watch. However, it is still a current model that you can purchase brand new and it is in really reasonable condition. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. I'm not saying I've bought an old vintage watch. No, this is still a current watch you can buy brand new today. But it is a quartz watch. Now, I think if you're watching this and you do love watches and you're sort of thinking and calculating on your head, you're going to have known that it is a quartz watch. Now, nothing wrong with quartz watches at all. It is nice to have a quartz watch in your collection, especially if you can get a really nice one just like this at such an affordable price. So without any further ado, let me flip the camera around and let me show you the watch that I've picked up that is 100 US dollars has all those features that I've mentioned. Let's flick around and have a look. Okay guys, are you excited? Are you really interested to see what I'm gonna show you? Well, little drum roll. What am I gonna show you for 100 US dollars? We have a Burberry watch. Now, is that something you expected? I understand that this may be a little bit of a shock to some people. Maybe it's actually quite interesting to others because Burberry as a brand is a very interesting brand. It is a long established heritage luxury brand and they do some very, very nice products. And they do tend to always charge a lot of money for those products. So you can get a current model Burberry watch in reasonable condition for 100 US dollars. Let's do this in a first impression style. So let's have a quick look at the box because the box is actually quite impressive. For this sort of price watch, we get an outer and an inner box. Inside here, we have a manual for the watch. It's quite a nice thick manual. It really does make me think of a slightly more expensive sort of watch that you buy, a slightly more expensive sort of uh, experience you get from certain watches. And inside we have a nice watch box showing off a really nice sort of maybe let's say casual sort of dress watch. Let me show you a little, in a little bit more detail. Let me show you because you want to see what this watch is for this hundred US dollars that I spent. I think this is a really good looking watch. I really, really do like it. And as mentioned, if it's not this particular one that you like, there are others out there that can be found both different sizes and different dial configurations. But the things that do stand out to me in this sort of first impression style of video is that dial. It has that sort of Nova check, which is Burberry sort of signature check pattern, and that is a 3D effect. And I think it works really well on a watch. It is sort of very much tied in with the brand, but it really gives you a really interesting finish to the watch, and I think it suits it quite well. And that links in with the crown as well. 
it is sort of signed with, again, that Nova check pattern, which is very interesting. I have to admit, it's probably one of the nicest signed crowns I've ever seen. It's just a little bit different, and it sort of really links into the dial and links into the brand and the heritage of the watch itself. Everything supplied. We have a date frame. Obviously, you can see it is a quartz watch, Swiss made on the dial. There's a little bit of loom on here, which I, when I do that full review style video, I'll show you that because it's actually a little bit better than I expected. The case profile is particularly nice. I really do like the case profile. It has that sort of polished um, fixed bezel, has a polished case back, and in between we have this sort of vertical brushing, which is really nice. And then it switches back to these polished surfaces on the lugs there. And they're a little bit downturned, which is nice, so it makes it hug to the wrist quite well. And being a quartz watch, it is quite thin and sort of sits very flush on your wrist anyway. And one of the standout features to me, and it was an instant standout feature, is these solid end links, which fit super super well better than many many other watches that i've bought and this solid steel bracelet it is a, probably a little bit thin this way however i don't think it feels too thin it just i think it suits very much the watch but oh it's it's so nice and i have to tell you when i did adjust this there is a one solid piece here and then everything else is individual so it is a one two three four a four piece individual solid bracelet which is nice and we have a butterfly clasp on the back, which this sort of style of watch, that doesn't surprise me too much. It is very nice and neat and tidy, and it is branded with the Burberry brand there. You'll see there's a few mixes between finishes as well. Now, probably the only thing that stands out to me is something that I probably don't like as much is the case back. It's a, it's a little bit plain, which is a little bit of a shame. But when I do the full review, I'll talk a bit more about that. Overall, a really nice looking watch. I'm super impressed that both Burberry, both the manufacturer of this and the price of this is able to produce and release and get to my door at this price. And how does it look on wrist? Well, on my six and three quarter inch wrist, I think it looks really, really, really good. It's, it's, it's very thin as quartz watches tend to be, also as sort of dressy watches tend to be. And as you can see, it is very shiny, so it does have a little bit of bling to it. it you know, there are only certain occasions that you may particularly wear this one, but it is a nice watch. I really have been enjoying wearing it. It's it's just something a little bit special about it, I have to say. And it's not that it's Swiss made. It's not that it's a steel bracelet. Um, it's not just that it has this lovely sort of dial pattern to it. I think it's the combination of all the things coming together that makes it a really nice watch to wear. Well, all right, guys. I hope you've appreciated this video. I hope it's been something quite interesting for you. I am going to release a specific video about this, a little bit more surrounding the Burberry brand, a little bit more about how and where the watch is made and why it is Swiss made and how it ties in obviously with the brand. And in that video, I am going to do a full in-depth review, giving you all the stats and specifications as well as the dimensions, etc. All right, guys, stay tuned for that one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon.